All right, so with every good drum session, uh, we record room microphones as well as the close mics. So here's that room microphone right here. So this microphone is about, I would say, a solid 25 milliseconds away from the actual start of the waveform. You can see that here. The highlighted region right here is displaying where this is the actual difference between the actual snare hit and where the room microphone is set up. So in order to make this sound a little bit less ambient, I'm going to drag this room microphone over. I'm going to drag it. I'm going to slice it, and I'm just going to drag it right over to where the actual snare hit starts. Actually, first we're going to have to zoom out and cut the other end of this off just so that I don't move the entire snare sample and misalign the entire project. It's important to know. So, like I said, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to scoot this over right to where the zero crossing is of the snare hit. And that's ultimately going to take away that delay, and I guess you could call it technically pre-delay. So I'll undo that now that I have it edited, and we'll listen to it with and without the edit. Without the edit. And now let's zoom all the way in, and we're just going to drag it right to the zero crossing. So just ever so gently line it up right to where the sound actually starts. Just like that. Okay. Uh, we'll zoom back out and we'll play the same thing. Notice how it tightens up the sound, and it sounds more like a natural reverb.